So this would be you, and this, I don't know how to even put it on the table, maybe like this. And this is the guy she told you not to worry about. I said this before in a vid regarding the comparing uh, Silky versus Laplander. So today on the menu we have Silky Katana Boy 1000. Make sure you stay tuned. There he is. I know you missed him. Hey Doggo. Nothing changed, trust me. So, I'm sorry if Finn gives you some trouble, but here I am, and today we're gonna talk about Silky Katana Boy 1000, which is, in the same time, really great sub and really bizarre sub, and we're gonna go to that one in a second. So over here I have also the Silky Big Boy. You would probably consider this as a large sub for the outdoors. Well, until you see something like this, so, the story goes like this, a few months ago Silky uh, did contact me and they were sending each one of these per one country in the world to do the review at least, that, that's for the Europe. And I was, uh, I was like, well why not, I always wanted this Katana Boy but I thought that it was smaller, that it was classic Katana Boy. This my friends is Katana 1. 1000, which means it has length of uh, 1000 millimeters. And uh, what to say about this saw, I mean, it has these uh, huge teeth and I use it actually out there for a few times, but that's why you waited for this review for so long, because as you know, most of the gear that I get, I don't do unboxing, I use it first for uh, some time, then I can give you my opinion on it. And as I said, this saw is, in the same time, uh, seriously, it is bizarre, but in the same time, it cuts like crazy, crazy, crazy. So, we have here, uh, as I said, Silky Big Boy 2000, well, whatever that means, but uh, this saw is really great saw. And this is the second one, when I met the guys on the IWA from Silky Europe, they were kind enough to replace the one that I lost in the forest, actually. I left it over there and someone picked it up after a few days. And they sent me this. Uh, so let's talk about this for a second. So it has maybe, I would say, one centimeter length of the teeth itself. It is also the pull stroke saw, which means it cuts when you pull it. Uh, and it is a relatively lightweight. No, seriously. I'm gonna leave a link to the Silky Europe so you can read all the specs about it. But uh, it is fairly lightweight, and you have a great balance of the saw. It is really, really flexible. It won't break because I use it in the winter time and had no issue whatsoever regarding the material resistance to the weather. Now, the thing that annoys me for a long time at the Silky, except for the Nada, is that you don't have an idea about blade material. Well, they say that they use traditional Japanese steel, so we have no info regarding the material that they use. Also, don't have any info regarding the heat treatment. Do they heat treat these teeth harder than the rest of the blade, which usually that's what guys do with the saws. But other than that, uh, it's still very, very sharp after a long usage. So it's been in the water, it's been in the rain, it's been on all kinds of environment, but still it holds us like crazy. We have just some small rust in it because I left it in my palyaka during the winter time when snow melted inside and it was constantly in the water. But the uh, rest of the saw is fine, so I would say that the heat treatment is a bit different on the teeth than on the left of the blade, and that's pretty much it. So you can fold it, and uh, when you fold it, it is, as you said, bizarre. Why bizarre? Well, um, I never took it out there in some kind of a pouch or backpack, because obviously you can't put it in a backpack, because you would need a huge backpack. Even my Yakari Extra Large Pack, it's not gonna fit inside. And I used it in my Palyaka Polk, 
in the winter time which work pretty great i use it even like a walking stick as you can see and i i would say that i'm relatively uh, medium height that would be 188 centimeters so uh, you can see how big this thing is as i said it's just crazy crazy and bizarre it has this rubbery handle which is really comfortable you believe it or not for this kind of a huge saw it has standard press lever to unfold it and you have this i would say safety so it doesn't open somewhere out there and cut your fingers i cut myself twice on it it's not fun so you have to be really really careful and even says caution use caution when folding saw which means you have to be extremely careful not to hit your fingers otherwise you're gonna be in trouble other than that you have also lanyard hold and i have no idea what you would use the lanyard hold for this maybe as a walking stick as i said but uh <laughs> it's just crazy some some kind of philosophy views uh, maybe if you want to build some bigger cabins or some bigger shelters or something like that because it's just too it's, it's too big it's not even an issue that it's heavy because seriously it's not too heavy look you can just do whatever you want with it no seriously not heavy at all the balance is just great but carrying around might be an issue due to its size obviously but uh, some philosophy views maybe to as i said make some cabin or cut bigger firewood you're gonna have issues if you try to use this on a smaller logs i mean maybe if for i don't know two three four inch logs it is just awkward and bizarre use it for bigger trees and trust me you can cut down tree like this with no issue and with no force after all as you know the silky they provide tools that doesn't require too much of a force okay just some pull when you push it back it's gonna move all of that sawdust out there and you'll be you're not gonna be tired even after a long day of using the saw now price on this saw is i think in euros was around 900 ish something like that and that makes it also very very expensive and when you take that price there you might maybe rather have two chainsaws high quality chainsaws but when you have chainsaws you have to take all of your <laughs> gasoline with you and you can't do that if you're hiking down to the mountain i mean you can but it won't be bushcraft right and survival so for that matter uh, you can do a ton of things with this saw and i use it even as a pedal in my canoe which is uh, another thing you might do and uh, that's pretty much it i don't know what else to tell you about it and uh, i'm gonna leave all the info in the description so <laughs> i mean it's crazy i laugh every time i see it and every time i show it to someone they also laugh so it is funny style but it's pretty pretty serious tool and you have to be extremely careful because you this could lead to some really serious injury now comparing to this this is gonna give you cuts and uh, you're gonna be completely fine with some maybe band-aids if you cut yourself with this one you're gonna be in larger larger trouble so make sure you use gloves that is really really highly recommended and uh, that's pretty much it i don't know what else to tell you about this saw as i said i use it it does it does job very very good actually i would say excellent and just with few pulls you're gonna cut something which is maybe five inches in diameter with no issue after all it would be surprised i mean also you have one meter length of the teeth so that's gonna provide enough i would say working surface on the wood and uh, you're gonna cut just very very quickly now if you're wondering why do we have a game review here not overnight there you might know this on my voice that i do all this crap with my nose the reason is you saw in one of my overnighters i have huge issue i have huge issue with allergies with allergy season is just killing me okay also the second reason is we have 30 degrees celsius in may which means forest fires and as you know 
as I do that for a living, that's kind of an issue because it doesn't leave me much extra time to go out there to spend night out there but it, there's gonna be all night don't worry we just have to wait for some rain and then they're gonna go out there so we are sure that we don't do any damage to the nature and that we don't do any forest fires now if you want to support this work of course i have thanks to my patrons tj father patty and all guys out there thank you very much you keep this stuff coming out and you keep me going so if you want to join these guys you can do it for only one dollar so make sure you check out the link in the description i have also my new web page so you can find also the a lot of info about location where i film about my country and about countryside in total so thanks again for watching crazy doggo is here there's also another crazy doggo from my father which he's lost so where the hell is my dog plus twice and uh, I'm going to see you guys very, very soon. So have a nice one.